Hey, your viewers and viewers, is my name is General Red Strategist, and welcome back to Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Now, last couple of episodes, of course, we uh, got back to the game as it's meant to be after the whole uh, American Civil War mod. We did a couple of little mod spotlights, Ron Boy's revised RTCW mod, and then, of course, the Return to Sexy Wolfenstein one, which was random and enjoyable, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but now we're actually getting back to a proper add-on. As you can see, I've got real RTCW reinstalled. We're going to be taking a look, um, a look actually, at an add-on, which we have looked at before, but it was a while back now. And um, basically this add-on is Project 51, but the real RTCW version of it. So this should uh, keep me going for a good few episodes, I do think. Now, of course, um, you know, you all remember Project 51. It was a good, uh, it was a good add-on and uh, quite an enjoyable one. I, I seem to recall I rated it quite highly. So I'm interested to see what this looks like with real RTCW's kind of sharpened, more HD textures and things like that. Should look gorgeous. Now, that music in the background is um, a bit loud and I am competing with it. So uh, let me just turn that down a bit just for the moment whilst I uh, go through a load of notices that I just want to talk about very quickly before I actually get into the add-on itself. Now. Like I say, there's just several things I want to talk about. So, first thing I want to talk about, Saboteur. The, um, so the Saboteur add-on, which various people have asked me to do, I still unfortunately can't get it to run. People have suggested various fixes, I've tried them, it still doesn't work. I don't know what the problem is. So, um, basically, you know, the, the main problem that I had with it, initially, was that I was trying to run it through the shortcut, you know, that comes with the download. And I've done everything correctly, I'd installed it properly, I'd edited the shortcut to make sure that the directory path was correct and everything, and it wouldn't work. So whenever I clicked on it, it came up with the grey console that comes up whenever you when, you know, whenever you know start up RTCW, but it just came, uh, keep, kept, bleh, kept coming up with an open GL error, and then not going any further, so I had to quit out of it. So then um, General Wilhelm Strasser here on YouTube informed me that alternatively I could try installing the mod, running RTCW as normal through Steam and then going to the mods folder under options which I didn't even know existed and I'm guessing is a unique feature to the Steam version of RTCW but uh, he suggested trying you know to run it through there unfortunately that didn't work either because basically what happened was when I ran, uh, ran RTCW through Steam after making sure Saboteur was installed correctly it came up, you know, with the default intro cinematic, you know, the one I'm talking about, the one that plays when you um, load up the game with Heinrich and Simon the Wanderer and all that. Um, and it played through that. But then, when the movie stopped, uh, when the movie ended and faded to black, it just stayed on a black screen. I could hear the main menu music, but I couldn't do anything because it was just a black screen. So I tried again, uh, and this time I tried skipping the intro cinematic. That didn't work either. Uh, I could hear the main menu music, but unfortunately I just had a freeze frame from the movie itself, which was a bit weird. So that didn't work. I tried re-downloading the Saboteur add-on, just in case maybe the download I was using was corrupt or something. That's you know, still doesn't seem to have worked. Um, so unfortunately Saboteur, I st I still am a, I'm still at a bit of a loss as to what's wrong with it. I just can't work it out, but it just doesn't seem to want to work. And on that subject, before I started recording this video, I also tried to record um, an episode, uh, the first episode for the Vovstein map pack. Um, and unfortunately, that didn't work either. So I seem to be having problems with that too. So basically what happened was I installed it correctly. I went into RTCW through, uh, was it through Steam or was it via the shortcut? No, it was via the shortcut that comes with the download. But obviously that comes up with the usual RTC main menu. I navigated to the mods folder under options, selected the add-on, which you know takes you then back to the main screen, selected my difficulty, you know, and started the game. So far, so good. Got to the objective screen, seemed all okay. The little icon came up in the bottom right, you know, the one you usually press to actually start the level. When I clicked that, it went wrong. So it froze on the objective screen, but I could hear the sounds of the level going on, and I couldn't really do anything. So, unfortunately, the Vovstein map pack, I don't know what's going on, but that seems to be borked as well. So, I'm, you know, after an absolute age, an absolutely frustrating age of trying to get things to work, not being able to work out what the fuck was going on with them, 
I instead decided to screw them and try something different. And so here I am, Real RTCW, Real Project 51. We're going to do this everybody. We're going to do it on the medium difficulty. Uh, and we throw ourselves back into familiar territory. Also, I did just do a quick test um, before I started uh, the add-on, just to, you know, check that it ran fine, because I swear to God, you know, if this hadn't worked either, I would have been at a loss as to what was going on. I would have been so pissed, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so yeah, Project 51. Now, I seem to recall, of course, um, the dialogue in this add-on is in Russian rather than English, because obviously it's made by Russian map makers, but at least the... Um, these uh, screens here are actually in English, which is pretty good. In the summer of 1943, I had to leave Paris and France. Some successful operations of our group caused serious repercussions from the occupiers. Mass arrests took place, it should probably say in the capital, not on the capital, and it was no longer safe for me to stay there. A lot of my mates were sent to Gestapo torture chambers under the cover of night on a small fishing vessel. Uh, I crossed the channel and went to England. London suffered under relentless bombing from German Air Force, but at least it's still free. My visit to the office of the British Intelligence Service didn't give me hope. Um, they, that they, I, yeah, the the English is a bit off, but we can still understand what it's trying to say. We get back to France quickly. Instructors found my experience was insufficient. They sent me to train at a resistance operation techniques training camp. I spent long days of dreaming about returning to my homeland. Yes, and so here we are. Doesn't it look gorgeous, actually, with real RTCW's HD textures? I gush over this all the time. Incidentally, actually, in the um, revised RTCW mod that I did a couple of episodes back, um, I was gushing over the textures there. Those were actually just default RTCW textures, but it just felt so good to come back to them after playing American Civil War mod with its low-resolution textures. I'll shut up now whilst these guys talk. Неужели немцы решили возвести дополнительные линии обороны на побережье? В чем странность их поведения? Недавно в предместе Кале вновь заработал цементный завод, разрушенный в результате бомбардировки около восьми месяцев назад. И что в этом странного? Цемент — это хлеб инженерных войск. Внимание наших агентов привлек необычайно высокий уровень охраны завода. Никого из местных жителей для работы на объекте не привлекают. В качестве рабочих используют только военнопленных. Ну а самое главное, это то, что готовую продукцию вывозят исключительно ночью в неизвестном направлении. Думаю, вы правы, и к этому сообщению нам придется отнестись очень внимательно. Кале — это практически ближайшая точка побережья в направлении Лондона. Я думаю, это задание стоит поручить недавно принятому на работу французскому добровольцу. Если не трудно, напомните мне его имя. Анриле Грэн, сэр. Okay, there we go. So you all remember that cutscene from the first time I played this? How long ago was it I played Project 51 for the first time? Can't remember, but like I say, you know, it wasn't recently. Also, with RTCW's HD textures, there's none of those freaking skybox lines, which you sometimes get. It looks freaking gorgeous. Ah, oh, I see, I remember though, Project 51, some of the level design and environments in it I really liked when I first played it. So yeah, I'm kind of, um, Excited to get back to them. You have to land on the French coast. The settlement of Valdam has been chosen as a landing site. Try not to attract enemy attention. Get inside the settlement and meet Jean Moran, or Marine, or whatever, how we pronounce it, a representative of the Resistance. They will gain important information about the object we are interested in. The main goal of the operation is to find out the location of this object. There is a route used to transport cement manufactured in a factory, I should say, near Valdam. If it's possible, obtain information about secret objects in this area. Any information from you may be very important for the war effort. Major Baldy! <laughs> the old slaphead. Jeez. Old 28th of October, 1943. Nice. So, uh, our character will be parachuting out in a second. Uh, so, you see, I remember the storyline of this one is about sabotaging the V3 super gun. There he goes, our character, standing in midair with his parachute. I must say though, you know, it is a good way of kind of simulating a guy parachuting in RTCW because of, you know, because that's the thing, I don't think there was an actual animated model for BJ Blazkowicz actually parachuting, was there? Or was there? In the default game. Because there is for the paratrooper enemies, as they come down, you see that in the um, airbase assault level, but hmm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, cutscene's over. Now, when I was doing my testing before, initially this moment freaked me out when um, 
real RTW, you know, suddenly went black like that. But no, it's just loading, that's all, because I forgot. It's been so long since I last played a real RTW add-on, I forgot that, of course, you know, the loading screens take a few seconds. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bidding, uh, the beginning of the operation was very un unsuccessful. We were attacked by Messerschmitt 109 during the landing. I had to jump out under fire. Two machine gun rounds immediately tore up my parachute. I was saved only by the fact that it was running out of fuel and was forced to return to its base. Otherwise, I wouldn't have survived. Hang on a minute. If your parachute was torn up, it wouldn't matter if the Messerschmitts were low on fuel. Are you serious to tell me you survived that fall? Okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't have survived even with the help of cloud cover. I have a feeling there will be a happy meeting on the ground. I don't think my landing is a secret anymore. Here we are. The French countryside. So familiar territory to us. And it looks fucking lovely. Hmm. You know, it's, um... I'm just thinking. You remember the Arcot map pack? The one where you go and sabotage the railgun? Do you reckon that's compatible with real RTCW? It would be amazing if it is, because that was a good map. And also flying saucers. I'm pretty sure that's compatible with this mod as well. I think. Let me know in the comments if I've got that right. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. These dang Russian Germans. <laughs> Okay, here we are, right. Oh, oh god, those textures. Oh, they're so fucking gorgeous. I love them. Now, we need to remember that this level there are snipers, I seem to recall. Oh, man, it looks so good. Right, so we got, weapon-wise, we got our knife. We got our Webley, I think that is, isn't it? Wait, was the Webley? The thing is, I'm playing Real RTW version 2.2, which is, I think, the current build, isn't it, of the mod. And I think it adds a few new weapons, or at least a couple. Was the Webley Revolver one of them? I can't quite remember. So got me Sten. That's it, just three weapons. Okay, we'll stick with the Sten then for the time being, since it's, you know, my old trusty favourite. Oh, God. oh gosh, look at the dynamic shadows on that Sten as you... Oh, that's so cool. It's gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous to look at. Now, I recall here you go to the bridge... You defeat the enemies on the other side, you clear out the house, and then there's a truck, isn't there, that turns up with more enemies. It's just stay crouched for the time being. Luckily, um, Sneak is still bound to control, which is pretty good. Right, there's the water wheel over there. Oh, I really like Project 51. Oh, there's that guy. Okay, hold up. Let's get closer, and then we'll nail him with a few shots. Got him. I think we got a headshot. Oh, hello. Right, he's down. Obviously, we're playing on the medium difficulty. Don't hurt me. People are probably going to say, Oh, Reg, you little flipping coward. Could you not have played on a bigger difficulty setting? But you know me. I'm too much of a pansy. And I am uh, incompetent at the best of times. Oh, God. I just heard that grinding then from the water wheel. For a second, I thought somebody had launched a Panzerfaust rocket at me. Then I remembered, no, that can't be the case. Because there's no way somebody would be firing Panzerfaust rockets at you so early. I remembered you being there. You're not tricking me. Like you did probably the first time I played this add-on, but... Yeah. Yep. Come here. Hey, ooh, hello. Better not face towards the wall. That's not where I am. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. Here comes the truck, I think. Yes, there it is. Also, um, I learned something very interesting, I think, from Mike Smith. I think it was. Or was it? No, it wasn't Mike Smith, actually. Okay, right. Yeah, I remember what it was now. So, um, I was looking on Mod uh, DB recently about some RTCW add-ons that are coming up, i.e. ones that have not yet been um, completed. And there's some real stu interesting looking stuff, actually, in the works at present. And apparently somebody is actually working on designing some single-player versions of the enemy territory maps. Seriously, like uh, Gold Rush and things like that. I think they're going to try and do all six of them. And that is fucking awesome by the sound of it. But apparently um, I was reading the uh, dev notes that um, the person behind the project had left on their mod DB page. And um, they were saying about um, vehicles in RTCW. 
because of course you know in the original enemy territory maps for things like gold rush and fuel dump and um, technically rail gun as well because obviously it's got the little uh, diesel rail tugs watch out for that guy um, and the the creator the person um, working on the enemy territory single player mod was saying that obviously in those levels the vehicles actually do move across um, uneven terrain so for example the Yacht Panther in Gold Rush has to go down slopes and things like that and um, what they were saying on their mod DB kind of update was that RTCW's vehicles if you look at them all the moving vehicles you see like the truck in the forest level they are always on flat surfaces they never move along... Uh, oh god, I forgot about that guy. Okay, I didn't want to shoot that guy with a Luger. That's not what I wanted. But if you look at um, RTCW's vehicles, like this truck, for example, they always move on flat surfaces because they don't handle slope, uh, sloping or uneven terrain very well. And that was just kind of interesting. I just, you know, I thought it was at least. Um, because obviously what it means for an enemy territory single-player mod for RTCW is that Unfortunately, the vehicles may have to be removed, something like that. So that's a shame, but it'll still be good to see uh, enemy territory maps actually recreated in single-player RTCW. Right, I heard a sniper. Oh, there he is. No, you don't, mate. Oh, someone else is shooting. Best to back up, I hear, I think. Got someone else. I can see the muzzle flash. Ah, he's coming through the bushes. Being a sneaky devil, that's what he's being. So yeah, um, enemy territory single player mod. That's um, in the works. So it'll be interesting to see that whenever it eventually gets ready. I mean, I don't think it's going to be ready for a long while yet, to be honest. It's going to be a while before it's done. I got him out. There we go. That's good. But somebody else is shooting. I heard a carabiner. Mauser, even. Where are you? I know you're down there. Sten, please. Oh, there you are. Gotcha. Ah, you bitch. Doing well for armour and health so far. It's pretty good. Uh, where's your gun that you dropped? Did you drop it over here? There it is. Oh, you, got, uh, bleh, you got additional health packs back there. That's good. Let's have a game save. Uh, what was I saying? Um, I was talking obviously about add-ons that are coming in the work. So, uh, enemy territory single player, which, like I say, you know, that's not going to be around for a while yet, because I think it's still in a fairly uh, early stage of development. But, you know, it looks promising. Other ones I saw, of course, there is going to be a sequel to The Dark Army. You remember that one? I think it's... What's it going to be called? Because it was Dark Army Uprising was the one I played. Oh, I can't remember what it was going to be called. Um, it's on Mod DB, At least the page for it, that is. So, um, if you want to check that out, you can do. Obviously, it's not ready to download yet. And probably won't be for a while. But, you know, that's in the works. Uh, Mike Smith. Um, Castle Vevelsberg apparently is on hold at the moment which is unfortunate, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, Mike Smith's reasoning is, well, I think he's I think he's working for a company. Um, he's got like, a full-time job that's taking up a lot of his time. So, um, yeah. Um, but, you know, real-life priorities do have to come first, because at the end of the day, I don't think anybody who makes maps for RTCW, you know, they don't, they don't earn a living off that. They don't get donations, or, you know, they don't get any sort of money for it. So, um, oh, I see you. Got you. There you are. Get out of there, sniper. But yeah, um, so you know, Mike Smith, if you're watching, you know, take care of your real life priorities first. Don't feel you have to get things out just to satisfy us, the uh, RTCW players. At the end of the day, we, we understand. But yeah, you know, because you know, my viewers are always very understanding of me when I have uh, issues about you know real life problems. Well, not real life problems, but you know, real life priorities. Because of course, you know, I have a full time job. I do. Um, and, you know, that takes up a lot of my time as well. So I don't always have free time to record videos, etc, etc. Is there anyone down here? Yes, there is. Okay. Let's just stay still for the moment. Oh, God, there's quite a few of you. Right. That's it. At least they're not too difficult. But, yes, um, getting back to the subject of Mike Smith, uh, you know, his kind of um, add-on creations that he's doing, add-ons that he's making, even. Um... Whilst Castle Vevelsberg might be on hold, apparently he's doing something a bit smaller in the meantime when he gets when he gets the chance. And apparently it's going to be kind of like the old Christmas map, which I played uh, a while back, and it might... Um, in fact, it might be kind of like an upgraded version of the old Christmas map. Oh god, I'm stuck behind a rock. That's not where I want to be at all now. Oh god. Yeah, let me out. 
There we are. I need to get up into that room in there. Because there's going to be interesting stuff hidden up there, I do think. If I can get up the stairs. Alright, here we go. Oh, I hear them. I hear people moving. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, great. There we are. Oh, careful. Why don't you come up here, folks? Oh, there you are. Right, he's out. It's one down. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a fair few of you down there, isn't there? That's not ideal. Oh, hello. Right. He's out. Oh, I see you. Oh, you're not hiding in the bushes. You're not hiding from me. Ah, so far so good. Um, is it worth picking up that ammo just yet? Because that gives you quite a lot. And I'm on 260 reserve ammo, so it's probably not worth picking that up just yet. Nor is it worth picking that up, because that's going to give me 75 armour, I think. I do think. And I can, you know, get a lot of my ammo back from all these discarded MP40s, or dropped MP40s, rather, not discarded. Discarded implies they deliberately chucked them away. English, everybody. Uh, right, let's get moving on. Keep on the move. Oh, shit. There's guys. Hello, I hear you. Okay, you're shooting me to pieces. Shit. Shit some. Yeah. One down. If I can get out of here. Right. I need to uh, go and get some health now. And uh, replenish some of that old armour. Some of old armour, lad. Let's get up here. Okay. There we go. 40 large health. Okay, so they give you 40. I need to memorise that. That's flat jacket for 75. Nice. Uh, right, let's go down. Ah. <sighs> I'm just drinking in the level design, as always. We could probably actually complete this level, I think, in this episode, if I play my cards right. You play your cards right. Who am I, fucking Bruce Forsyth or someone? Rip in peace, Bruce. You old guy. Hmm. How many people outside of the UK know who Bruce Forsyth is, incidentally? Anyone? Any hands? You know, ra raise your hands if you know who he was. But if you don't know who he was, I'll explain who he was. He was a uh, British TV presenter. He died a year... Oh, God, hello. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> just an awkward moment there. <laughs> the officer came running out. Uh, is there going to be someone in that window? I feel like there will be. Yep, yeah, I knew it. Oh, hello. Wait, where did you... Oh, shit. Yeah, no shit, I'm here. Probably shouldn't be using up all my sniper ammo like this. Probably going to need it in the later levels. Okay. Ooh. Lord, a loo. At least there's freaking armour and stuff over here and extra health if I need it. I don't think we are off, you know, too far off the end of this level, are we? I seem to recall there's a couple of trucks that you have to deal with. And then maybe a load of, well, trucks full of Nazis, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, God, these guys. Oh, there's more of them. Officer just running out into the open. Doing exactly what uh, most military tacticians will probably tell you not to do. But, you know, the AI. Oh, hello. Nice bar, mate. With your big barrels of, um... Van, Van de France, Sartreurs, Couvert, 1937. I don't know what uh, 1937 is in French, incidentally. So, you know. Oh, Le Tour. A degré, 1938, Le Tour. As the French would say. Right. How do we trigger trucks? Trigger me trucks. Trigger me trucks, lads and lasses. Trigger me trucks. Here we go. I've triggered me trucks. Coming out of the bridge. Hmm. See? Flat surfaces. They don't deal with slopes. Okay. What we need to do is go back into here. So we can take up our sniper position here. And just nail them as they come round. Okay, here they come. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, here he is. Take it, you bitch. You bitch stewards. Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Uh-oh. Time to dance, bitches. Bitches. Oh. Fucking stormtrooper effect, eh? Is that all of them? I sure hope it is. Uh, I'll probably pick up this now. There we go. 64. Oh! That's how much ammo it gives you. So yes, it's uh, not worth picking it up when you're 
have just a small amount of reserve left. Oh. Bitch, please, you're dead. Right, get that. Let's uh, get on and get some more ammo. The old Luger. Right, so if this is the end of the level around here, then what I'll probably do is just double back very quickly and go and replenish all health and armour so I've got full as I proceed into the next level. Then we should be good, right? Valdam, two kilometres. It is the end, isn't it? Right? Yes. I could have sworn this was the end of it. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go back and get um, full health and armour. I was correct that that was um, exactly the end of the level. I get that. 20 health. So we've got 20 health packs and 40 health packs. The box shaped ones probably are about 10 health or something like that, if I'm remembering correctly. It was real RTCW, but uh, yeah. There should be some armour in one of these barns, shouldn't there? I think this one here probably has what I'm looking for. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, there, there it is. Give me that flat jacket. There wasn't anything actually in that building, was there? Well, can you even go in there? I don't think you can, can you? Oh, somebody shoot! Oh, he hurt! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck me! I didn't even realise you were there. You were hiding. 25 health, is there? Oh. Wait, who the fuck are these guys? Where did they come from? Who the shit are you? I don't recall say... See... I don't recall saying you could be there. Damn you, seriously. Took all my bloody armour off. I had so much before. Was there another flight jacket in here? Yeah, there was. Okay, it doesn't matter. Because we can just get that one. Restore to 100. And then we'll end the level, I do think. I'll probably actually record the next one straight away, since, you know, I like to block record. In case there's a delay between recording sessions and all that. So there we go, let's start wrapping up here. So, thank you everybody then for joining me for the first episode in a new playthrough of an RTCW add-on. A real RTCW add-on, that is. The real RTCW version of Project 51. Promises to be a, a good little mini-series, this one. Because I look forward to uh, playing this add-on again. It was such a good one. So yeah, there you go everybody. Hope you'll join me for part two. If you're not doing this already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the video description, as is a link to my General Red Propagandist channel, where I do a lot of anime-related content. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you can go check it out. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, and of course, share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter and all that. But in the meantime, I'm disappearing now. Goodbye, all. Good thing this spring is naturally eating, because they had pretty crisp around us. Nobody's really saying very much of it, so I guess it's too relaxing to bother the conversation. In all, it's nice and peaceful. That is, until I hear footsteps approaching the spring. Oh. Or is this the, uh... What well, then, Jesus? Okay, um... Voice. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go for the scouse act in this one. You need to you keep using the scouse act, you need okay. to change up the... Well, I used it originally for that one voice, but then it turned out that was gone, so... Technically, the scout voice is now free again. So, uh, unless I go for something different. Hmm. Well, you said you were practicing your Bristol accent, so oh, there you go. Oh, my Bristol West Country accent. Yeah, so. I've got Combine Orvister, I feel like. Wasn't this just a splendid sight to behold, eh? Looks like I looked out and picked a date with some eye candy hanging around. <laughs> Turn around, I noticed this young female Asian has joined us at a spring. A young female Asian. <laughs>